everyone, this is Amber with Amber Prop Designs. Today I am going to show you in this tutorial if you make any mistakes or you're not quite happy with the painting results that came out, how to kind of fix it and move forward with it. I've already put my yellow and blue base down. Uh, these were Liquitex Basics colors. I added a bit of Artist Loft uh, white to it. Uh, plain and simple, I'm just going to mix a few colors here at random um, and we're just going to do a flip cup. If you have any questions, please comment below. If you would like to subscribe to my pages, I'm on Instagram at Amber Prop Design, same as Facebook. And you can also, if you want to see more experiments done, uh, be a patron, Patreon, and that money will go to any supplies or anything like that, and it'll be shown in the video, and you'll definitely be getting a shout out from me. So what I did in the cup, I usually don't stir, stir it, but I'm gonna kinda try a bit of an experiment today. I put white, yellow, blue, and red, and so I'm just trying my prime colors, and we're just gonna flip the cup. And we're just gonna see, it does have that silicone. I stirred it in um, right away. And I just wanna see everything, how it's gonna go. Like usually when you're doing a dirty pour flip cup, you're not gonna stir that paint at all um, because you want it to kind of be separate. But I thought I would try something new today. You can already see the cells are popping up quite a bit before I even bring up the cup. As I said, this is a dirty pour flip cup with silicone in it. I used Artist Loft White, Artist Loft Yellow, and I used Artist Loft Blue with some white just to kind of brighten it up and have a bit of baby blue in there. My medium that I put in there was Floetrol. So if you're using Floetrol, you can see that sometimes it will have, um, you kind of brighten up the color a little bit. So you kind of want to watch your portions with that. So for this one, I used one part paint, two parts Floetrol, and then I put about two ounces of my mixture. Uh, my mixture, if I have, say, a glass of water, I will use about 10% Floetrol, 90% water, and I'll just keep adding ounce by ounce uh, of that till we get a really nice fluid paint we don't want it to be too thick, we don't want it to be too thin. When you're bringing the stick up, and I'll show you that in another class here, it's just not gonna have a mound, it's just gonna sink straight down, okay? So I'm gonna lift my cup up now. Okay. So we're gonna let that kind of spread here a little bit more. Uh, sometimes with the additional paint that's kind of coming out of the cup, I just kind of pour it onto the edges here. Just a little help me out. The reason why I love using prime colors so much, it is three colors and it can make so many colors all together uh, for one painting. And no painting is exactly the same, which is wonderful about fluid painting. Uh, but that's something I just always love that I could make any any painting and it will always kind of combine differently so right now I already see that I have some red yellow I have purple in there a bit of green which is great so I'm gonna start tilting it slowly back and forth and I'm gonna always wanna bring that back to the center. The reason why we're bringing it back to the center is so we don't get those crazy squiggly lines and it keeps the cells in place. Um, for this method, I did not use a torch and we're still getting incredible cells. Um, you definitely can use a torch, but safety first as always. So for me already, I can, from my I point of view, I don't really care for the white that I put in here. And that's okay. Uh, it was a little more liquidy 
Um, it seems to be slowly taking on a color of the lighter yellow and red and maybe it'll turn out once we spread it a little more but for right now I'm, I'm not too happy. It also has kind of a cloudy look over here. Uh, you can see some of the wisps which is okay. I mean if you're into that that's cool. Uh, I just um, I prefer the cells more um, but right now it's really popular to kind of try to get that uh, cloudy look. A lot of people are experimenting. So we kind of got it today without really even trying, which is I guess a bonus. <laughs> Remember to bring it back to the center. All right. So I'm going to just tilt back and forth to the sides here again so we can get a little bit closer. By the way, this canvas was a 12 by 16 inch canvas. Uh, it wasn't too big. Tilt back. All right, so I'm going to try to go here to the corner. We'll hopefully try not to lose too much of that cloudiness on there. Okay, bring it back. And so usually I would put my hand there uh, to kind of stop it a little bit, but I seen that it was flowing good enough to keep the cloudiness. So I didn't want to put my hand in there to stop it too much. I just wanted to leave it, okay? So once you start doing a little few more paint pours, you're going to start to understand, you know, what parts do you like the most? What is the best, um, what is uh, appealing to the eye or to your eye? Okay, so Bring it back to the center. I'm really digging this purple and blue effect we got in the middle. I believe that I poured too much paint and that's okay. You know, we all have to learn uh, what's the best uh, measurements. So as it stands, if I were to look at this painting, I am not a huge fan of this area. I love that this is popping out. I'm not going to push it to the edges. Um, just for the sake of this demo, we did the flip cup pour, but I really like how bright it is and it kind of um, has a little pop. Negative space that's not overpowering. So I'm going to try to remove some of this without trying to remove the entire circular purple area. Might be hard, but we'll try and hopefully we can figure this out. What I think I'm going to do is try to get rid of some in that corner. That's kind of mudding a little bit and that's okay. And it's kind of stretching my guy out here, that purpley red part. It's kind of what I want right now. I'm going to bring it back if I can. The key is to not overstretch, and I feel like I'm reaching that point where it's it's getting overstretched, and that's okay. The way I kind of do my paintings is, I'm going to look at this right here. I see that I'm not super happy with this and how it's turning out, and that's okay. So what am I going to do to try to fix this? I don't want to leave it. Um, you know, for experiment's sake, we can try a bunch of different things. I have no problem because this is not a painting that I would definitely um, want to sell. And that's okay. Uh, we all win some and we all lose some. So I, for myself, I'm going to try to manipulate this to go right in the corner now. And bring this piece down a little bit more.
hopefully then we can stretch a little more color out of here. Now some of the silicones that you can use, there are so many different kinds. Um, to, like I would uh, try, try a treadmill oil at first. That's something you can buy at any hardware store. You can go on Amazon and, and look. Uh, for me, I get it at our Canadian Tire. It's literally just in the exercise aisle uh, for treadmill fluid. Um, so you can try that. There is a bunch of different silicones that you can use or just test out. I mean, with this type of painting, if, if it doesn't work, that's okay. You know, you can move on. Just, you know, at least try it for your sake. So for myself, I, I'm not uh, super happy with this. And so a lot of people might get a little upset what I'm gonna do next, because I might just pour right over it instead of waiting for it to dry. And that's okay. I know that, that you know, people might say, I like it, leave it as is, or don't, um, and that's okay. Just for the sake of the video, I'm just gonna let you, we're gonna do a different painting. We're gonna do a different flip cup. And we're gonna just try something completely different. So sometimes, like I said, if I'm not happy, I'm just gonna play with this a little more. It's getting muddy already the more we're playing with it. So I'm just gonna go right out of the box and I'm just gonna fill a cup with some already pre-mixed paints that I have. Um, so what I'm gonna use is yellow, which is pre-mixed. I'm going to use a purple really dark purple. I'm going to mix two or three drops of white and I'm just going to do blue. I am not going to add any more silicone because we do already have some on the canvas and if I'm going to put too much silicone then it, that will actually wreck the painting as well. For the sake of the video I am going to use a strainer and I normally I would put this on the top but I'm just going to have it float. Just like previous, we're going to just start tilting. Now, we have way too much paint and that is okay. Like I said, I was not super happy with what I was doing. So for me, I am fine with that. I, If I'm not going to keep a painting, I like to get rid of it. This one, for me, is already doing a heck of a lot better. I'm loving, we got kind of like a flower shape going on here. I wanted to really keep that flower shape that's kind of appearing up at the top. That's super cool. We're getting that from the strainer. So no, there is not a huge amount of cells that are coming. They're slowly popping. This is where I'm going to use the torch. Right in here you can see there's some, some popping up. To do my corners if they're not quite done. side and the purple because I a few of them were popping and that's okay but I want to keep that kind of flower look over there and I 
keep it to itself. Here's the end result. We are gonna leave this for a few minutes because we got a lot more cells that are really popping up here and I would like to see them go through. These cells are turning super cool. When you do that double pour, sometimes you are gonna get the paint that's coming from the, the first pour, which is happening right now. Uh, if you really don't like the colors, that's not necessarily always a good thing, but this one is turning out really neat. It's bringing out kind of like a pink color um, from the bottom up. So I'm really enjoying that. I like how this is kind of a gradient. So when that dries, that's gonna look uh, a little darker, which is okay, uh, but it looks really neat right now.